the cultural and creative sector are often not considered, even though they would be directly affected. And I think that is also one of the first mistakes because you have to listen to all sides and make a questionnaire, not just uh, one-sided uh, to the needs and uh, impact on the telecommunication sector. Mixed views we have in parliament and council, what I heard throughout uh, several talks. Um, uh, there are parts uh, uh, in, the, in the parliament who are principally against network fees, also because we had the big discussions during the telecom package on uh, net neutrality. And uh, the question is how net neutrality can be seen with network fees on the other side uh, when it comes to the delivery of content of data um, via networks for special services, because in the end, uh, to be honest, uh, the consumer will pay for this, because if you charge uh, streaming services with additional uh, fees, uh, it will be uh, on the one hand perhaps to the detriment of new production of content or uh, it has leads to higher costs for streaming services. So in the end it's uh, in just a shifted income and we can also discuss about if uh, the, the uh, contracts and the, the payments for a network connection is high enough or not. How is the price structure? I think that would be a more transparent and fair discussion. 